this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and during this video I'm going to be showing you the latest Evolution X ROMs build this is the 8th July 2022 build of course based on Android 12 L and here you can see the file size and stuff and all the flashing method links will be listed in the description so do not worry about how to flash this ROM or stuff like that and we have the Evolution X logo up top in the about section and we have the Android version mentioned as Android 12 not Android 12 L but yes this is Android 12 L that you are getting of course if you are going into the doodle you can see this is Android 12 L. Let me go back from here the Evolution X version shows as 6.6 .6 Hellfire for Rafael and this is the official build of course. The security patch here is latest of July 5th 2022 you can see from right here. Also the stock kernel is the Soviet star kernel here. And if you scroll down more, the build date is mentioned again, 8 July 2022. The build maintainer is of course still Stalex and we have the S Linux status as enforcing. Now, I would say yes, overall the stability of the Evolution X ROM has been improved quite a lot. And if you're looking at the wallpaper that I'm using on the home screen, this is actually the older kind of pixel wallpapers, the live wallpapers. Let me actually show you, this is what you get with the latest like uh, build. And in here, if you go into the living universe, you will see all the Google Earth and the Moon kind of wallpapers. These are the live wallpapers that you can download. And yes, all of them should be working perfectly fine here. If you're noticing all these animations and stuff, they should work perfectly fine here. So you can download any of them. Also, the bloom options are there. And we have much more like this curated cultures and stuff, the live, etc. wallpapers. And we still get the papers app that is present in the like Evolution X ROM. And from here, we can actually change the accent colors and the basic colors you will also get. Then we have themed icons and the upgrade normal stuff. Let me go back. I'll show you what's new with this particular ROM build. Or you can say I will show you the 6.6 .6 specialities of Evolution X. And here the stock launcher is still the pixel launcher and everything is fast and snappy. No issues whatsoever that I have faced. And in here, as you can see, swiping down anywhere in the home screen is pretty fluid. Swiping up gets to the app drawer. And again, this is how the quick setting panel looks like. By the way, in the light theme, still the quick setting panel stays dark like this. And even in the dark theme, if you switch, everything will turn to pitch black. But yes, even in the light theme, the quick setting panel stays dark like this. The widgets in the home screen are working fine and all the animations, it's very sweet. And let me actually tell you, this particular build comes with 72 hertz right out of the box, I guess. And in here, if you're noticing, I'm getting 72 FPS over here. And of course, here shows that its refresh rate is 72 hertz. That is working perfectly fine. Everything is just buttery smooth. So in the display settings, you will get the refresh rate customization. Let me actually show you that. If you scroll down in the other display controls, you will find this minimum refresh rate. And if you click on that, you can choose it to 72 Hertz so that it will like switch to 72 Hertz all the time. As you can see, there are two options, 60 and 72. You can choose it from right here. And this is for the battery saver mode, lower power refresh rate, you can set it to 60 Hertz. So that once you switch to battery saver mode, it will turn your like display to 60 Hertz with the battery saver turned on. So that's a really cool feature. Also, we get the double tap to wake, the pocket detection and stuff, and the wake up on plug, screen of FOD, etc. options. And a lot more options are there. In here, we have the lock screen customization, the double line clock is there. And if we scroll down more, we have the ambient music ticker, etc. And in the advanced settings, we also get the pickup and stuff if you want to enable all those. And overall, I would say the experience is amazing with this. And I actually feel this is much faster experience even from my Redmi Note 10 Pro. Even though the Redmi Note 10 Pro has a 120Hz display that does not have a really powerful SPU. Of course, Redmi K20 Pro has the Snapdragon 855. So that's why everywhere the performance just flies. Everything is just buttery smooth over here. No problems whatsoever that I have faced. I just noticed the Bluetooth headset were not connected. So I just quickly connected them. And right now, if you're noticing the Bluetooth battery stats actually shows up on the status bar. So that's really interesting. And we have the Bluetooth battery percentage showing up even on the quick setting panel. So yes, you can enable it and it works perfectly fine. The sound quality overall, I would say is amazing. Let me actually talk about the sound settings a bit. This is how it looks like. And of course you can switch the media device like you can switch the like Bluetooth device to speakers really flawlessly, I would say. And in here, just notice how the like animation looks like. It looks amazingly smooth and it appears like this. You can increase or decrease the Bluetooth volume from right here. And you can also expand it to the like more toggles and you can put the phone into vibrate or silent from right here. 
and media call etc volume controls you get of course from the sound settings if you scroll down more we have the ringtone vibration pattern changing option normal stuff and we have the touch vibration power app volume control then the me sound enhancer you will also get and you will get all these presets and the sound quality via the headphone jack is one of the greatest that i have heard and yes the sound quality i haven't had any issues whatsoever on this particular rom with the speakers the headphone jack the bluetooth headsets the earpiece everything is flawless over here and you don't see a volti icon because i don't have a sim card in the device right now but yes volti calling should be working perfectly fine here if you insert a volti sim and you have the presets option you can also go with the bass booster and we have the hi-fi audio option right here and we also get the haptic feedback that's for the whole ui haptic feedbacks let me go back we have the clear speaker option right here so that's all about the sound settings but let me talk about the quick setting panel which i haven't right now let me actually show you we have the fps info and if you enable it right now you will see the fps actually is showing up as 72 so yes it's running at 72 hertz again and we have the other toggles that i have added the refresh rate toggle and we have the reboot to recovery and stuff these toggles are there the sound toggle is also there if you tap and hold on you will get the volume panel like this anti-flicker mode is there that's the dc dimming i guess and we have the live display from there you can of course switch to the high brightness mode that will make the display really really bright and we have the google home controls the extreme feature i also added this calculator like toggle and it's really helpful from the quick setting panel too i can jump directly into the calculator that's really interesting let me go back and in here let me show you the other toggles that i have added we have the always on display toggle you can put it to always on display on charge or just like aod and i'll just like enable the always on display for the time being the screen recorder is there we have the device audio and microphone audio normal stuff the heads up and the battery saver do not disturb the data saver and the nearby shared options then we have the night light hotspot the dark theme and the order order etc let me show you there is the power menu and if you tap on advanced you can directly reboot to the recovery or fast boot from right here again now let me talk about the system settings and this is how it looks like we have the system updater still and you can check for updates from right here whenever there is a newer update but i generally flash like manually i dirty flash the roms because my storage is decrypted that works perfectly fine in the gesture settings we have the quick tap action that's the back tap works fine the quickly open camera the have gestures and in the settings we have the back gesture haptic the back gesture animation the gesture indicator and we have this space under the keyboard that's a really interesting feature i would say and right now if you're noticing there is the hidden option so if i click on hidden and right now if i tap here as you can see there is no space that's just really interesting that we have all these features and you can actually customize these space and stuff on this bottom over here i'll just put it default so for some reason i would say the pill bar right now is bugged out so as you can see i just enabled this gesture indicator after that it appeared so yeah it works fine as you can see this is how the pill bar looks like i have changed the length and the radius as well that's why you are seeing the thicker pill bar over here so yes you can customize all these and swipe to invoke assistant is also working fine no issues with that and with the advanced gestures you can control the long left or right swipe actions let me go back we have the two button and three button navigation as well the swipe to screenshot is working fine there is the share edit delete and the google lens options and we have the double tap prevent ringing etc options let me go back from here we have the front camera effects and we have the sound effects and stuff and in here we have the security settings let me actually show you that so let's just set up the face unlock quickly first so i just completed the setup of the face unlock and we have this when swiping up on lock screen option and in here we also have the fingerprint options right here let me actually go back and in the settings of this we have the quick unlock if you're looking for that and if you go to the advanced settings then stock lock options you will get the app lock from right here and yes i have locked some particular apps let me actually show you from right here you will also get the google photos options and we also have the telegram option and stuff and in here let me actually show you this is how it opens up and if you tap the fingerprint scanner as you can see it gets you to the app so yes app lock is working fine right now i will show you how the like face unlock and stuff is working for some reason the display turned really like low in brightness i don't know why but let's just swipe up and as you can see it shows recognizing face and it unlocks but if i tap the fingerprint scanner just notice the fingerprint scanner speed also it does this animations and here we'll also get the like google earth kind of thing the brightness is just going bonkers i don't know why maybe if i have the anti flicker disabled maybe this will be fixed yes right now i think it's fixed as you can see so yeah it's working perfectly fine even the live wallpapers and stuff even with the live wallpapers i would say the performance does not degrade it's a very fast and snappy experience overall no issues whatsoever that i have faced 
Now, only disappointing thing is that you won't find a good stock camera over here. I would say in the Evolution X ROM, that's kind of disappointing. But you will get this old kind of Google camera with which does not look good. That's why I have installed the G cams, and that will be working perfectly fine. This is a G cam like Unix version, and with that. There is the ultra wide angle lens which is for stopping right now for some reason but yeah if you try it normally the g cam should be working fine let me actually show you with the g cam go that i have installed and yes with the g cam go it's working fine even with the front camera and stuff it should be working perfectly fine so yeah you are getting the like normal experience with the g cams but if you want to install anx camera and stuff you definitely can do that and for that i'll list a guide in the description box below do not worry if you want to install anx camera separately also let's talk about the battery settings in here and we still get the battery temperature the design battery capacity the current battery capacity and the charging cycle string option on the battery settings that's just really interesting i would say you won't find all these features in most other roms but there is also the battery charge warning level and we have the idle manager then we have the battery usage and stuff let me actually show you i have used the uh, aku battery app and with that i have been getting about six hours plus of screen on time average it shows over here so yes battery life should be decent with six plus hours of screen on time on this battery which has 700 plus charging cycles and we have the health section and you can see my battery has degraded quite a lot it's about at 65 percent here it shows so yes my battery is like very old but still it's holding up kind of well the my charging habits are like 0 to 100 so you won't much see much things just notice if you want to look at some things but yeah i would say the charging was like pretty decent if you have replaced your battery of the redmi k20 pro it should work really well but otherwise i would say the battery life is decent i do not have any major complaints regarding the battery life over here Talking about the customizations, yes, we still get amazing amount of customization in the theme section and stuff. We have this monet theme engine, then the pitch black option, then the dark theme option is there and we have the body fonts and stuff. A lot of fonts, the icon tags and the signal icons, everything is there. You have the Wi-Fi icon styles and we also get this option right here. If you want to use this for some reason, just like this, it will look like. So, yep, you can use this if you want to. Let me actually go back from here. We have the icon shapes and plethora of icon shapes we are getting and we have the navbar styles too. And these are the navbar styles that you can choose from. That's just really awesome. If you're using the three button navbar style, you can actually choose between this Motorola, Asus, OnePlus, One UI, Techno Gammon and the Sami or the Samsung UI options. So yeah, a lot of options you get over here in terms of the navbar styles too. These are the newer styles. Let me go back and from here we also have the status bar settings now in here in the status bar items you will also get to see the icons actually right now it usually shows the headset bluetooth etc texts but it actually shows which icons are which so it's very convenient to actually enable each of them so yeah very like good features i would say right now let me show you the battery styles and from here we have the icon let's skip right or left and the circle etc and the big dotted circle is also there and we have the battery percentage position changing option so yeah, very interesting. We have the Vaulty icon and stuff customization from right here, Bluetooth battery stats, etc. And we have the notification settings. We have the read ticker, heads up and the notification light, the in-call vibration options. Then we have the power menu and advanced reboot options and stuff. I'm just showing you the basic stuff of the customization. And in here we also get the buddy. Yeah, as you can see right now, it's working perfectly fine. So this brightness control is really handy, I would say. And we have the double tap to lock screen and the status bar options. And the long press power button toggle torch is also there. Let me go back. We have the lock screen customizations. And in here, we have the UDFPS customization. And you will get all these fingerprint icons and plethora of icons are just there. And we have the UDFPS icons, I mean animations too. So you can choose from any animation from the Cyberpunk 2077, the Stripe, Wave, McLaren, etc. I have been using it with the McLaren. To the buttons, we have the on-screen nav bar settings, then the power app volume control and the keyboard cursor control. Click to take partial screenshot. In the misc settings, we also get the gaming mode and from it you can customize the gaming mode of course. You can add any game and the screen of animation you can change unlimited google photos unlock higher fps in games options are there and in the usb configuration we have the file transfer right here so that's all the customizations which are present over here i would say overall evolution x is still one of the best experience that i am getting over here and yes like it's really fast as of right now because of the 72 hertz and i haven't had any kind of issues whatsoever just notice how fast and fluid the UI stays even when you are like scrolling between two apps altogether. So yeah, you can also switch between apps just like this very easily, no problems whatsoever. 
Also, if you're wondering about the basic stuff, yes, DRM Info still stays as L1, stream Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p without any issues. Also, the safety net test passes right out of the box, so you can use banking apps without any issues on this particular ROM. Now, if you're wondering about the benchmarks here are the Android and Geekbench score on this particular ROM, and with the CPU stress test as well, you can see the benchmarks are a little lower with the latest Android 2 benchmark, but yeah, that's fine. That's how it is with the like Android 2 benchmark 3D kind of newer update. But overall, I can definitely still suggest Evolution X ROM to you guys because this is still one of the best Android 12 L experience that you will get on the Redmi K20 Pro. And overall, I would say the performance was killer with the amazing features. It just flies through the UI. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.